I'm Mickey Knowles and I'm here with the National Watermelon Promotion Board and I'm going to show you how to carve a watermelon football helmet. To do this carving you're going to need a bowl and a scoop or a spoon, a paring knife and a chef's knife, some toothpicks, and a dry erase marker. To start out you're going to wash your watermelon under cool running water and pat it dry. For step one you're going to cut about four inches off one end of the watermelon. That's going to be your mouth guard so set it aside once you cut it. But for step two take your dry erase marker and do an outline of where your face portion of your helmet will go. Now using the outline that you made cut along that to create your face portion. I like to use a small paring knife for this part because it really makes it a lot easier to control. Just pull that apart and you have your helmet. So you're going to use a scoop to hollow that out. Now for step three. Take the piece that you had reserved, put the cut side down, and cut it in half. Step four. Take the piece that you cut in half and dry it off so that you can use your dry erase marker. So you're going to do an outline to make it look like a face grid for the face mask. You're going to use your paring knife to trim that away. Now remove the flesh from the other side and reserve that to use for your fruit. That way, those pieces from your mouth guard will pop out a lot easier. And there we have our mouth guard. For step five, you're going to assemble your carving. I'm going to slice a little bit off the end of this so it'll sit a little more even. Put it on the plate. You may have to trim a little bit of the ear pieces away. I'm going to add some toothpicks to keep this stable. For step six, you're going to fill it with fruit. One of the great things you can do as well is if you have a favorite team, you can trace the logo on the side of the helmet so you really customize your party. And there's your football helmet. 